Hello class 9th. Today we are going to discuss achievements of the assertive or radical nationalist. Main objectives, educated and urban people, nationwide proportions, the peasant and workers, methods of self-respect and self-effort. Before discussion of topic, we must know the following terms. National politics, set of activities that are associated with the governance of the country. Crippled to become unable to walk or move properly. Non-cooperation, refusal to cooperate as a form of protest. Handicraft, activity involving the making of decorative objects by hands. Impetus, the force or energy with which a body moves. Assassinate, murder for political or religious region. Armory, armory is a place where the weapons bombs and other military equipments are stored. Treasure The funds or revenue of a state, institution or society. Children, today we are going to discuss achievements of the assertive nationalist. The assertive nationalist added a glorious chapter to the history of national movement. They clarified its objects, taught people self-confidence and self-reliance. They prepared the social base of the movements to include the middle class, students, youth and women. Their achievements were as follows. These leaders were able to inculcate national pride by extolling. Extolling means praise lavishly. Extolling India's past, Tilak revived the Ganpati and Shivaji's festival to arouse national sentiments. Now let's come to the reading part. Achievements of the assertive and radical nationalist. There is no doubt that the assertive nationalist succeeded only in reaching the educated and urban people. Educated means people who are able to give the moral and intellectual instructions. Assertive nationalists are those who believe in the aggressive methods and their ideas could not reach the masses. Masses means common people or the common people. Their movements could not assume nationwide proportions. Means their movements were not reached up to the nationwide, means all the corners of the countries. The peasants and the workers still could not join the mainstream of the nation, national politics and struggle. Politics means activities related to administration. They failed to organize mass struggle. Mass struggle means struggle related with the common peoples. They were unable to include the middle class families to realize their goals. India still lacked a nationwide organization to carry on political struggle in an effective measures. Moreover, assertive nationalists gave a new slogan to the Indian nationalist movement like non-cooperation, passive resistance, mass agitation and self-reliance. Non-cooperation means refuses to cooperate. Passive resistance, non-violent opposition to authority. Mass agitation means that is a protest at, for the common people. Self-reliance, reliance on one's own power. The self-reliance was promoted by the setting up of Swadeshi stores that sold in the Indian made goods. Swadeshi, as we have discussed, use the goods made in your own country. Jamshedji Tata established iron and steel industry. Bengal chemical works were set up during this phase. Even Rabindana Tagore set up a Swadeshi Bhandar. They declared that India need a total freedom from foreign rule. Now let's come to the reading part. But the criticism cannot be related the achievements of assertive radical nationalist. Their achievements were marvelous and their sacrifices were noble. They preached the methods of self-respect, self-effort and asked the nationalists to rely on the character and strength of the Indian people. They declared that their goal, their goal and their great sufferings and sacrifices were needed for the task. Means they have to believe on your, their efforts. They had deep faith in the strength of the masses. Means they have to 
keep the faith in the masses means common people and plan to achieve swaraj through mass action swaraj means self rule and they wanted to get swaraj with the help of the common people they preach the method of self respect self effort strengthen the indian people they had deep faith in the strength of the masses and plan to achieve swaraj to the mass action they tried to cripple the administration of by the weapons of non cooperation and boycott boycott means say no to the foreign products they propagated the use of swadeshi and boycott the foreign goods which helped the survival of the indian handicrafts and the industries these all factors like boycott swadeshi non cooperation self reliance self respect gave the impetus to the nation nationalistic strength sentiments and the unite the whole nation impetus means force or energy now let's come to the remaining part of reading they try to cripple the administration by the weapon of non cooperation and boycott they propagated the use of swadeshi and boycott of the foreign goods means swadeshi goods which are used manufactured in your own country boycott means say no to the foreign goods which helped in the survival of indian handicrafts and industries the boycott and swadeshi movement gave a impetus to the nationalistic sentiments and united the whole nation in a bid to cast away the yoke of the foreign rule and they wanted to save india by the aggressive methods now here there is a difference between the opinion of early nationalist and assertive nationalist now we will discuss this difference just have a look on the pictures of early nationalist his dada bhai naraji gopal krishna gokhale sn banerji on the other hand these are the assertive nationalist lal bal pal lala lajpat rai bal gangadhar tilak and bipin chandrapal and their policies were different and what is the main difference in their policies now let's come to that part just have a look on this difference in the methods and objectives of the early nationalists early nationalist method and assertive nationalism early nationalists wanted self government not absolute independence on the other side assertive nationalist aimed at the total freedom early nationalist were loyal to british rule on the other hand assertive nationalist were not loyal to the british rule early nationalist had full faith in the british sense of justice assertive nationalist no faith in the sense british sense of justice early nationalist believed in the constitutional methods assertive nationalist believed in the breaking the hold of imperialism early nationalist believed in holding the meetings delivered speeches passed resolution submitted appeals and petitions on the other hand assertive nationalist believed in launching political agitations making people self reliant opposed policy of beggary political beggary favored active resistance early nationalists had full faith in cooperation assertive nationalists believed in non cooperation early nationalists favored british institutions ideals and literature on the other hand assertive nationalists believed in the supremacy of indian culture early nationalists lacked the spirit of self sacrifice assertive nationalists laid emphasis on self reliance early nationalists they were supported by the educated people on the other hand assertive nationalists they were supported by the masses which include middle class students youth and women as we know the agitator never preached a bloody revolution yet their ideas and activities were sufficient to make the public opinion more violent and aggressive and produce a class of such revolutionaries who were ready to sacrifice their lives property blood and bone body and soul for the motherland as a result their preachings were born revolutionary youth like 
भगत सिंह खुदीराम बोस चंद्रशेखर आजाद रामप्रसाद बिस्मिल बटुकेश्वर दत्त वीर सवारकर हु डिड नॉट हेजिटेट टू असेसिनेट द ब्रिटिश ऑफिसर्स एंड लूट गवर्नमेंट आर्मरी एंड ट्रेजरी नाउ लेट्स कम टू द रिमेनिंग रीडिंग पार्ट by these speeches and the writings and the fighting nationalists filled the indian people with the fierceness and infused in them the such courage and they stood up a rock to challenge the british imperialism imperialism means when the strong nation rule over weak nation the kesari and maharatha these are the two newspapers of bal gangadhar tilak infused in the indian people the spirit of assertive radical nationalism means the feeling of aggression though the agitators never preached a bloody revolutions they were not upset they did not want to upset anything yet their ideas and activities were sufficient to make the public opinion more violent and aggressive and produce a class of such revolutionaries who were ready to sacrifice their lives and property blood and bone body and soul for the motherland means they were able to sacrifice the entire thing of their life for the sake of their motherland as a result of their preaching were born revolutionaries youth like bhagat singh kudiram bose chandrashekhar azad ram prasad bismil batukeshwar dat who did not hesitate to assassinate the british officers and loot the government armory armory is a place where the weapons are kept and treasury they wanted to drive away the british rulers by the means and break up the chains of motherland they were so influenced by the agitators means protesters and they never hesitate to confront the mighty british empire confront means they came face to face to the british empires now assertive nationalists wanted to drive out the british rulers by the means and wanted to get free their motherland they sac- their sacrifice made by the young men when not gone into the vein they shook the foundations of the british authority who came to be believe that their days are in india indian soil were numbered in this way assertive nationalists played a very important role in the freedom movement of india it was because of the their effort sacrifices made by assertive leaders that the partition of bengal was cancelled in 1911 this incident gave a fresh self confidence to the indian nationalists now let's come to the remaining reading part the sacrifices made by these young men did not go in vain they shook the very foundation of the british authority authority means the power which take the decision who came to believe that their days on the indian soil were now numbered now they will have to start the back counting they will have to leave the india for indians in this way we see the assertive nationalists played a very important part in the freedom movement of india and very important saying by bipin chandra pal for the assertive nationalists that is the assertive nationalists added a glorious chapter to the history of national movement they had cleared its objective they had the people's self confidence and self reliance they had prepared the social base for the movements by the including the lower middle class students youth and women children you will have to reread this part again and kindly follow the snap homework thank you